Hey guys, today we're installing Rockstar's hitch mounted mud flaps. We're gonna start this by unboxing our parts, ensuring all our components are present, and we also wanna make sure all our tools are handy, just to make sure we got everything we need to get this done today. First step, we're gonna assemble the gusset to the frame. And that's done by first aligning the gusset holes to the frame and inserting the supplied one by three eighths carrot bolts through and secure with lock washers and nuts. You can go ahead and repeat this for the rest of the bolt holes in the frame and gusset. And go ahead and snug that hardware down to 32 foot pounds of torque. All right, time to assemble the hitch clamp. Uh, insert the supplied five and a half by three eighths carriage bolts to the clamp and secure with flat washers, lock washers, and nuts. Boom. Next step, we're gonna bolt the assembled clamp to the frame. And that's done by positioning the flat side of the clamp against the back of the frame and align with the slots. Make sure those carriage bolts are facing down. Secure to the frame with the supplied one by one quarter and three as carriage bolts, flat washers, lock washers, and nuts. Be sure to leave this loose for now. Next, slide those protective vinyl caps onto the frame support flanges. And slide the assembly onto your hitch. From here, lift up and slide the hitch onto your receiver and secure with the pin and clip. Position those support flanges on the bumper using proper spacing. Model specific is gonna be tight while universal leaves a gap. Loosely tighten the bottom carriage bolts of the clamp assembly and firmly push down on the frame to ensure it's level with your bumper. To tighten the bolts equally, first start with the two bolts at the top of the frame, followed by the two vertical bolts through the clamp assembly, and finally the two remaining bolts through the frame. Next, we'll need to place those protective discs on our bumper to maintain that factory shine. First, we're going to do this by cleaning the surface with the provided cleaning pad, remove the adhesive backing pad, and place it on the bumper where those vinyl caps are going to rest against the bumper. Repeat this process for the other side. Okay, time to install our mud flaps themselves. We're gonna begin this by aligning the holes in the flaps to the holes in the frame, making sure those letters are facing forwards towards the tires. Fasten and fully tighten those flaps to the frame using supplied one and a quarter by three eighths carriage bolts, large flat washers, lock washers, and nuts. Use two one by three eighths carriage bolts and hardware to plug the remaining holes in the frame. Repeat this process on the other side. Attach the heat shield by first clamping with the mud flap to help stabilize while drilling. Go ahead and drill your mounting holes for the heat shields. And then secure those heat shields with the supplied hardware. Sweet. And there we go. We're all done and set to go. Mud flaps look great. Let's go.